and vampire Edward Cullen comes to an end on the big screen with Breaking Dawn Part 2. Startup host and entertainment editor Ricky Lowe for the fifth time sat one-on-one -on -one with each cast member for their final words on the last installment of Stephanie Meyer's best-selling series turned blockbuster movie. Your 70 years did the Twilight movie in two ways. Uh, how did the saga change you in a lot of ways? It would be impossible to actually mark the changes, you know, to have something matters to you so much and, and also be aware of the fact that it matters to so many other people as well um, has gotten me really comfortable with pressure. Uh, a little braver as well with, uh, with uh, movies. I, mean, I, I feel like I can go a little further. Uh, it's kind of, it makes me excited about what I'm going to do next. I, I hope in some ways I haven't changed. I, I hope in some ways if you were to ask people that know me best, I hope they would say that I'm the same person I was then before any of this happened. The, um, the Twilight Saga is um, most about the uh, saga and what we do not miss about at the fan events, at the premieres. Just seeing the, the joy and the adulation on their faces and uh, their passion. Um, I'm a very passionate person myself. And whenever I see passion in large groups like that, it's very motivating. People change over the course of five years, regardless of whether or not there's a film involved. And so it's hard to pinpoint what uh, we can, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is we're, we're essentially the same people. Of course, Kaylan, you grow up in the saga. Uh, how did it change your life and what was the best lesson that you learned from the saga? If I could go back in time and just tell myself, like, get ready for the ride and enjoy it, take pictures, <laughs> lavish every memory. You must be uh, feeling sad that you're saying farewell to the vampires and the werewolves. Uh, yeah, well, it's been a great thing to be a part of. I've really enjoyed, you know, playing the character and also just being a part of the whole Twilight world. I think it's, in, it was the right time to end it. I mean, the, the we got to finish what we started. You know, we've gotten so close, we're a family now, but it has, that's all being an actor, you know? It's just one job to the next. We were so close uh, together for five years. How do you think you can sustain the closeness now that uh, you, you are going your own ways? That's always fun. But we do have dinners outside, but it's hard to get everybody together for dinner. <laughs> Any favorite uh, Twilight movie from the horror or movies? Yeah, I love. We call it the rain scene in New Moon. Yes. It's it's uh, the first thing we see Jacob after he's transformed, and Bella comes and hunts him down in New Moon. That's a very emotional scene, and uh, I love that one. I also I, I love the tent scene in Eclipse. That's one of my favorites as well. What the fun in the Philippines do you find very memorable? Uh, your wedding scene and the love scene. So what about you? Any uh, favorite uh, Twilight moment? There's so many, but there's all this one that's not so What could it be? I think the first the first kiss and the last kiss in, in the first movie are really, really, really stand out as being very important. Um, the wedding scene, obviously. The birth. It, everything that sounds incredibly obvious. The Definitely the first. Uh, the, the last scene of the first movie, where Edward and Bella are dancing. Yes. That's kind of... I always remember that scene, I always thought uh, it was a really, really nice movie. What does in your mind when you're doing the, the wedding scene? It is very beautiful. Everyone's looking at the bride and you're just kind of standing at the other end. Just really... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it was, it was fun, that was really beautiful. That's the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. May mga miss daw sa isa't isa na yung lalabas na ang huling installment ng kanilang pelikula. It's hard really to pinpoint exactly how I feel because it's uh, it's a lot of different feelings. I have no expectation. My expectation for myself is that I feel challenged and I feel like pushed by the people that I'm working with. Yes, there's only a few actors who can get movies financed, like especially young actors, and like, and Kristen's one of I guess, like ten girls. 